Great. So welcome, everybody. Welcome to our team patchination Monday night training. Um, I see a lot of familiar faces on here. It's great to see everybody and my co-host, Paul Austin. Paul, say hello. Unmute and say hello. Hey, how are you? I had an update thing, too. But Did I just an update on your was on. As well? Yeah, I was a bit early, though, so it just went through it. <laughs> so I know what that's all about. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm glad. So um, uh, anyways, I'm really excited about uh, tonight's training. I watched this training has been done before by um, Kerry Hellams invited uh, Ken to do uh, a, a training along with uh, Crystal Green. And Ken has done this training um, before, but I was really, really impressed with the training and um, I reached out to Ken to see if he would. Um, um, Beck, I'll let you, Paul. Are you and make you a co-host for a second here, and you can watch. Uh, yeah, what's up? Uh, can people please mute themselves? Just see here. Okay, Paul, you're now a co-host. So you can watch if people are. Um, yeah, for thank sure. you for uh, muting everyone. Um, but uh, Ken did this uh, call with Crystal Green and, and uh, put out by Carrie Hellam, which uh, um, I think one of the most underutilized things in our industry, and, and uh, for me, you may agree or may not agree, is the use of email and the use of contacting people through follow up emails and so on. And so I'm really, really excited. Um, to have Ken. Uh, I'm a new friend of Ken's on on uh, Facebook here. Ken lives in, now tell me, Ken, whether I'm pronouncing this right, Sylacauga, Alabama? Yeah, yeah you did good there. Did is that what good. it is, Sylacauga, <laughs> yeah, Alabama? Sylacauga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, Ken has done absolutely amazing things with his business since he joined a little over five months ago. Um, Ken is a, is a youth minister. And um, being with uh, his wife, Mary, for 30 years now and have three wonderful children together. Mm -hmm. And um, Ken didn't really come from a background of entrepreneurial experience uh, by any means, but has been in, um, you know, the, the manufacturing industry for the last 31 years. And that kind of resonated with me because our family businesses were manufacturing um in uh, the print business ken so it's i know all about the manufacturing uh side and and um about almost six i guess almost six months ago now ken um you decided to say yes to the the uh, super patch business and um incredibly enough ken hit director in three months um but even what's more phenomenal uh, to me is ken has already accumulated almost 800 customers in his short tenure here. And really my dad used to always say to me that, you know, it doesn't matter what business you're in, whether it's retail, whether it's manufacturing, um, whether it's network marketing, sales and customers cure everything. And so, you know, with that, Ken has accumulated a, a lot of customers and, uh, you know, to have that kind of amount of customers in, in, you know, just over five months. I mean, I say bravo and tip my hat to you, Ken. That's that's amazing. And I'm just delighted that you're going to share um, with our audience uh, this evening on what you're doing to capture those emails and to respond. So um, with that, it's uh, my great pleasure to introduce everybody to our trainer tonight, Mr. Ken Brown. Take it away, Ken. All right. Well, thanks, Terry. I, I appreciate it. It's, it's an honor to be here, and I'm glad to be here with you guys. And uh, yeah, like Terry said, I've come from a background of, you know, mainly manufacturing. I worked 10 years in uh, textile, make denim for like Wrangler or Levi, uh, those companies have done that for 10 years. And I moved over now. I'm working in the automotive industry where we make components for Ford and GM and BMW. And so we do that. Um, very hot job. I work in a factory where I say a foundry where sometimes it's like over 120 degrees in there where you're working. So uh, really not a, a fun job to have, but I, I've been blessed there, but found this company just searching. Um, well, actually I was just doing what a lot of 
people do when they get on Facebook or on TikTok, you're just looking at videos or whatever. Uh, but it, this company kind of sparked an interest in me because my pastor's wife, uh, she has dealt with Parkinson's disease for over 10 years now. Mm -hmm. Very strong woman. And uh, you know, we love her dearly. And so I had looked for something that I seen a video online where someone was using the patch. And I was like, you know, I at least have to try to see if I can help her out. And that's kind of where I got started. I, I ordered the patches. I did the demo on her and it's changed her life and my life. So uh, I'm grateful for the company. But I just want to share with you guys tonight something that's really, it's really a simple training. And you guys will see that. So all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to capture the email before it gets to your replicated site. Uh, because, you know, the only way that you know anyone has been to your website is if they register to be a customer. And so I can tell you I have, with the number of customers that I have accumulated, and you know, you know, you'll have people, if you do anything online, you'll know you'll have people go to your website, they'll become a, they'll register, but they won't purchase anything. So there's no telling how many I've had uh, just register there just to be a customer. but. And the process of accumulating well over 700 uh, customers, what I've done is I've captured around 6,000 emails in the process. So that gives me an opportunity. Not only do I reach out to them and do campaigns to uh, help them be a, a customer, those that, that didn't purchase, but uh, also be able to build a relationship to have them come and become an associate uh, with the company. So that's something that I do. And so what I'll do is I'll just share with you. I use constant contact. So I really want to, if you guys aren't building online, I want to really encourage you guys to build online. So I think I had this same thing happen to me. So give me, be a little patient with me here. I'll see if I can find uh, my website. I did this last time. Here we go. So, so can you guys see the Zoom? Well, yeah, it says yeah, Zoom there. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I'm going to open up Constant Contact here. Now, this is my homepage here on Constant Contact. Now, I do have uh, a place where I have, now on here, just on here, I have, there's 2,696 of the contacts, but I have another platform where I have the rest of my contacts. So I'm just going to show you guys something that's really simple for you to do. So if you register for constant contact, I think you have either 30 or 60 days free, and then it goes up to $12 a month, uh, just your basic uh, email capture where you can do this. And so whenever you're in constant contact, this is your homepage. Now this is on my laptop. So if you do it on your on a tablet or a, a phone, it's going to be it's going to look different for you. So this is just the the home screen of my uh, laptop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create. So whenever you uh, let's see here, okay, yeah, whenever you uh, go to your create, what you're going to do is you're going to go down to your landing pages here. You'll click on your landing pages, and then you'll go into lead generation. Uh, landing pages. You'll go there. And so I have kind of a basic setup to where um, I get started. And this is this is where the magic happens, right? So you're just kind of putting it together. And something I, I should have brought up, but I didn't. But I'll go through this. So what you're going to do is to create your page or have your page look uh, a certain way is you're gonna to go to the lead generation page here. And so like my logo here, you can change your logo. And I have several different pictures here that, that I use. Now you could take and you could put your picture up there like that good looking guy right there. You could put him up there or yourself, whichever. Mm -hmm. uh, you could do that, but one of the ones that I really like is, and, and I, I use this one, but you can use whatever, whatever you'd like. 
I use that one. And so what you're going to do after that, you got your, your logo there. Here on your headline, now I change mine up just to kind of lead people to where I want them to go. And you can put, you can change it up to say whatever you'd like to say. Now this is the, the headline. And so what I'll do is, and this is, like I said, you can change it up and put, put whatever. Uh, let me change this. Well, if I could spell that correctly. And you, you can see that I'm not too savvy on the computer, but everything's going to be simple for everybody, too. So, uh, so what I've done, you see here where I've changed the name, the headline, just a super patch. Again, like on online, uh, one of the social media platforms that I use, I use Tech Patch. So just something different. Uh, you can put whatever there. And then on the description here, uh, you can put, again, you can put whatever description you want there to, to kind of fit whatever you're doing. Like if you're just doing like the freedom patch, you could say something to, uh, of course, the pain, getting rid of the pain or, or anything like that. So with this, I'll just, I'll put something simple here. Um, Let me see what I want to put here. I thought about it today. Um, okay, changing lives with one passage time. So just something simple there, whatever you want to put there. And so to go on and finish this page up here, right here where the sign up button is, one of the things to change there, I'll put, you can put patches there. So just kind of complete that page. That's gonna be your front page. Whenever you share your link, this is gonna be the initial page that they see. And so what I wanna do is I wanna change this page up a little bit. And so what we're going to do is going to go down to design. And here you're going to, you'll be able to change up your background here. You can put another image here or, um, or you can change it to a color. So you can put that, that image there behind it if you like that. Uh, or you can just make it simple. Um, I like to my one of my favorite one of my favorite colors is red so you can just go here and you can go to basic and it has the setup there or you can get it to a different color whatever you want there and you just apply okay i need to remove this and then you have your red background it's red and white now if you guys know anything about um, uh, football i'm a big college fan and i love Alabama football, so got the red and red and white there, so uh, our crimson and white for Alabama. So it's very simple to change that up. So we want to go here, and you can we'll change this the inner part here up if you'd like to do that. So we could go there and just change it. So yeah, real simple, and it's it's basically self-explanatory. You can kind of walk through it and do it yourself. <clears throat> Little Christmas colors there. Okay, now we're going to change up the uh, the size of our lettering here. Go to our heading, and I usually like to get it pretty pretty good size. You just change that up to the size that you want there. And if you want to change it to a different color. You can do that also, just right there. But I like I like black; it kind of stands out. Same thing with the body. And I'll, I'll generally go something to that size, around twenty-two or so. <clears throat> now the next one's going to be your your link. Now your link is going to be the website that you put in, uh, and I'll show you guys here in just a few minutes where you'll have that. 
the mine is here at, at the very bottom down here at the bottom part. And so you can go here and you can change this. See how it changed that? So that's going to be your length there that you change. Now in my first training, I didn't do that. Uh, I missed that part when I done the first training. So, <clears throat> and so now we're going to change the button up and I like to get it a little bit bigger. Also, the letter, so it'll stand out. And you can change it to, to whatever color as far as the that. I hope I'm not going too fast here, just, just walking through here. <laughs> All good. OK. So I liked. But oh, so you don't want that. If you, if I was going to do that color, I would go back to basic there to the background. So it, well, that's I wouldn't do that either. So let me do this, and then go back up here. There, and you just change that up like that. Now again, you you guys can change it up to to look, ever how you guys like it. All right. Now the the next step here is our where we capture the email. Now that's always going to have the asterisk there because that's going to be an absolute. They have to put the email there. Or you can take and have them where they have to put their name. Now, if it doesn't doesn't have the asterisk, uh, most of you already know that it's not required whenever uh, someone fills it out. So here, if it was like this, you wouldn't have to put your name or your first name or your last name. But it, I could come over here and make it a requirement that they have to put their first name, last name. Or you can even go down through here, make them put their the phone number, city, and all of that. But I'll tell you, uh, if you have all that information like that, generally for somebody to just go to your website, most of the time they're just gonna opt out and not even go. It's gonna be like, well, it's not really worth their time. So basically what I will do is I will give them the option. They could either put just put their email there or I'll have it where the email and the first name. Make it very simple. You want it to be as simple as possible for people to get to your website, for sure. And so you have that set up right there. Now we're going to go and uh, we'll go into our settings here. I think I need to, I mean, let me make sure here. So before we go into the settings, let's go into our, our thank you page. So this is going to take us to the next page. After they have put in their email and they clicked on the buttons or, or whatever you put there, or where it says patches, it's going to take them to this. So it's already a basic setup of what you already have with your picture. You just leave that there. And then here where it says, uh, thanks for signing up, I generally would change that. Uh, to, uh, you know, you could put like uh, something towards your patches, like come check out our patches or something to that effect, just whatever you want to put there, something really simple. And then in your description here, if like uh, I had someone, uh, when I'd done the first training, ask if they could do like just individual uh, pages like this, like for the freedom patch or for the liberty patch, and you can do that if you're going to just uh, promote one particular patch. But I just generally put it out there, and then they can go to my website. So I don't really put a lot of different uh, pages, landing pages like this. But I, I'll just build it. I just have the one. And then I'll show you how uh, I'll take them to different places where I keep uh, their emails. So again, just here, you can take and put whatever description there you want here. But here's where the magic happens is down here. So you scroll on down here on this page where it says link to website. You click that, click that, and there is your button right there. And so 
this is where whenever they click, you've already captured their email address. And then here is where they'll go to this page, they'll click on it and they'll go to your replicated site. So you have that set up and you have to go to your settings here. Now in your settings here, right here where it says, uh, or create list. I've already created some lists here for me. I just have like uh, future prospects, uh, general interest. Most of your contacts will go to the general interest if that's how you set it up. And then I got less team up. So I have a few other little things set up and that's why I have some of these others. But most of the time you're gonna have one or two uh, things set up. And so, you can go in here and you can create a list, like if it's just general, or if you have something specifically for your freedom patch, you can just put freedom patch there. And whenever someone uh, puts their email in, it'll go to their freedom patch. Like, so. Let me see here. I'm sure I got everything set up here. I know that I'm missing one part and I've got to find it. <laughs> so the lead generation page can, uh, uh -huh. if somebody, because it's hooked up to your uh, replicated uh -huh. website, when somebody when you send somebody, if you're using this program and you send somebody your URL for your replicated website, it comes up as the lead generation page first before they see your replicated website? Yes. Okay. They'll have to put in their email there. Okay. Yeah. Or they don't get to see your replicated website. Right. So it's, you know, to be able to see your replicated website, they have to do that. Perfect. Okay. No. Uh, just quick, quickly, uh, one of the questions, this is an outside CRM application not tied to Superpatch, correct? Yes. Contact, yes. Contact? Yes, constant contact is, is something that you would have to pay for if that's what you desire to, you know, to do. You know? Sure. So it, it, especially if you're building online, if you're using TikTok or Facebook or Instagram, this right here would be a big benefit for you to have. So, and I am missing something here that I had earlier that I'm not seeing. And see, that's taken me to something that I did not want to go to. Here we go. I'm missing. Hmm. For some reason, it's not allowing me to see my other page. Are you talking your thank you page or your? No, it's the one that where I. Let me see here. Move this around where I put in my my URL to hmm. yeah. Hmm. That is strange. Let's walk through this before I got on here, and it's not here. Okay. You guys may have to watch my other training. Because I am not seeing this. I am trying to get it where you put your replicated. Oh, I know what happened. Okay, that went away. Okay, there, that's what happened. So whenever you click on 
your where you put your on on the second page where you go down through here on your thank, on your thank you page on the thank you page yeah uh you go down here whenever you click on the link to your website mm -hmm. so what you're going to do here is where you would put your website here that you want them to go to okay. so like if mine was like that is that's mine right there it's ken brown 71 superpatch.com so you have to put that there and whenever they come over and they click on this that should take them to your replicated site. that takes me to my replicated site right there perfect sorry about that guys no worries yeah because i i didn't know that that had disappeared on me but yeah that is that's basically it after you get that set up so that's uh, something what, you set that up on your thank you page, not on your lead generation page. Right. So your lead generation there is to capture the email. So right. whenever they they put their email on, on this page here. Yeah. And they click here, it's going to take them over to the thank you page. Correct. Or whatever how you have it set up. It's going to take you, them over to the thank you page, and then they'll be able to go to your patches from there. Right. Yeah. So this is basically to, to capture the email. So you'll have it to be able to go back to them and, um, uh, you know, do campaigns or whatever, reach out to them. So I want to show you guys one more thing here, how it will kind of, let's see here. This is just some of the, the contacts that I have. <clears throat> It'll come up for me. Yeah. So on the on your con after you have the emails, I have the different ones here, like the future prospects. I have the twenty five, and you'll be able to move people around in different care categories. And you'll have these categories set up. And I showed you that on the other page. And I have some this. So I got fourteen people now waiting for me to contact them. You know, to because they've had interest in the in the company becoming an associate. And so, yeah. Um, so really, that that's pretty much the training. <laughs> yeah, uh, as far I'm, as walking you through there. Just a quick question okay. here that we um, that we have, Ken. Um, okay. Go back to where I saw that there. Do, do, do. What if you already have a different web address linked to your site? Um, somebody says they pay a yearly fee to have their shorter, like a redirect page. Would this still work? Okay. Yeah, that will work. And that's one of the things that, so what you could do, and it's not going to cost you anything unless you just decide to, uh, to go that route as far as paying, you can, Let's see here. I'll try to find something for you right quick. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, that's to shorten your URL. I think Google has one for that, don't they? Yeah. So there are free ones. I see like Bitly you have to pay for. But you can you can find the free one. That's what I used the other week on the training, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you can you can just use that use a short one. I don't I'm not sure about this one now. Yeah, I was say that's where you have to pay, so, and you don't you don't have to pay for it. Uh, let's see here. I know that tiny URL is free. Oh, tiny URL. Yeah, yeah. It, let's see here. There's tiny URL on the side there. Let's see here. You say you've seen that one, Terry? Yeah, scroll down to the, or scroll back to the top. I think it showed it right there. Okay. The URL generator. Yeah. Okay. Well, the one that I used on the other training, uh, and I yeah, wish I would have brought that name was. It, I remember you. I remember you seeing uh, seeing that. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, you can just Google and you'll be able to find one that that'll shorten your URL because whenever you go here and you finish this and you activate, I'm sorry, I should have done that earlier. Whenever you activate, well, I have to go through and here. Oh, I have to choose a list. Uh, of course, whenever you're going through, you have to choose a list for where your emails go are going to go to. And I would just put general on that. Yeah, so one of the questions Vanessa says that she doesn't get the, the specifics of the different lists. Um, how does the page decide what the customer wants? Okay. So let's say that I, I was on my Facebook and I did a uh, just did a demo and showed people how the demo would work. And then I had some people that were interested. And then I I had my link there and I just say, well, just click on my link and you'll be able to go to my page. So I would have it set up to where it would just go to a general list. Whenever they put their email in there, it would go directly to the general list automatically. Okay. And so you would have all of the all of your um, emails in that list. Now for me, I've done a little more. And what I've done, like with the future prospects, whenever I've had someone show interest there, I'll move their email into that uh, future oh, so prospect. That's just, like, that's just like a file that you've created. Yes. yes. And you can move the emails around, but you generally start with the general interest first yes determine, so, now do you determine whether you want to put them as a future prospect after you've had a conversation with them or an email exchange yes okay yes i hope that answers your question vanessa yeah so here like whenever you're setting it up for your your list you can create whatever list you want here and then i mean you can have as many uh list like the general list, if you want a freedom patch list, liberty, ever how you want to do that there. And you'll just have to play around with it to kind of get familiar with it. But after you do it for a couple of times, you're, you know, it's it's pretty simple. Yeah. So correct me if I'm wrong, Ken. Uh, Vanessa, yes, you you if you set up your your list um, you know, as general interest, then everything's gonna go into your general interest category. If you've had a conversation through email with one of the people out of the general interest list and they appear to be what you may call a future prospect, then you can actually move that person from your general interest list, create a list that says future prospects and move that email uh, address into your future prospects list. Is that correct, Ken? That is correct. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right. And like some people even put their, they'll have a customer list. They'll have those there. <clears throat> and after you have them in those lists, all you have to do is just type out one email and then you'll go in that list and you'll click on one button and it'll cover everybody that's in your list and it'll send that email out to them. Yeah, so, so what uh, Dan is saying, Dan from Toronto says, so if, he understands this correct. You set this up so that everyone goes through this to get to your super pack site. And then you have their email info and name, even if they just look at your site and leave. Yes. Correct. Yes. So you, you, capture, uh, the, you capture the email before they get to your website. Because you have your email URL set up in constant contact, then you can't just send your email. It's going to go to the email and then it's going to, uh, come up as a as a lead generation landing page first. Uh, Correct. And they go through the steps, and if they want to see your website bad enough, they'll put in their email address if they want yeah. to see it that bad. Um, yeah. But uh, it it supersedes your your URL um, by using um, this uh, CRM uh, of constant contact. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you can use constant contact or they have MailChimp and they have a ton of others that you can use AWeber. But to me, I, you know, to me, this was just simple. And, um, you know, I started using con constant contact about four months ago. So actually all the, the emails that I've captured is probably, it's about four months worth. 
So one of the oh. questions we have, Ken, is um, do you have, what's your follow-up email after you've collected their email? So um, do you, you create a newsletter or do you have a specific email or do you do it individually on a per person basis? Um, yeah, so, so I just have one email for those that are new that starts. So I'll just have it. And then for all of those that come in, I'll just send that out. And you can send that out. You can set it up to send out immediately, or you can do it a week from now. It's just ever how you want to get that set up. So generally, whenever you have someone that puts their email in there, they'll get one specific email to start off with. And then later on, you know, you can set it up where it's set up to ever you can do it for like every week or every month or every two or three months ever how you want to do that that they'll get a specific email you might have one set up for your liberty patch for this month the next month they get one on the freedom or you know something to that effect and this email campaign all runs through constant contact yes you can set it all up in constant contact perfect perfect yeah um now the other thing is um um somebody's asking, have you had any success in texting or SMS campaigns versus emailing campaigns? Now, that's something I haven't done. Yeah. I, have, I haven't done that. Now, that is something that, you know, I know of some people that have had success with that, but, you know, that's something I haven't done. So I just do the, I just do the email. So right you now. actually send the email to somebody, your first email, you send it through Constant Contact, or do you copy and paste and use it in your own personal email or your business email, or you do it all through constant contact, correct? Uh, all through constant contact. Perfect. Because that keeps up with me, my, uh, and I'll show you, let's see. No, this is not it. Let me see, I was gonna to try to, oh, I know where that's at. So on your homepage, it will have like your emails, open emails, you can go here, click on there and it'll tell you uh, how many you've had opened up, who opened them up. It, it'll, it'll keep up with all of that for you. Yeah. As you go through there and you can like 22%, it tells you that's your open rate. Yeah. And so, yeah. So whenever you click on that, you'll go down through there and you'll see all of the people and the one, and it'll set up it in categories or in segments. Sure. Uh, people that have opened them up or people that haven't opened them up. And so. And so um, can you, this is something you sort of self-taught yourself, is it not? Yeah, I had a little bit of help. Uh, several years ago but basically i've done this on my own yeah yeah so i had someone kind of show me a little bit of this but mm -hmm. i didn't really learn a whole lot then but but yeah um have you had to use their help button in constant contact at all are they do they are they pretty proficient as far as help is concerned yes they they're very good at helping yeah and so you can now, there are some platforms that they'll say, contact us, and you just have to send back and forth emails. But with constant contact, you can actually call and talk to someone, right? which is really good. Well, what I suggest to everybody uh, that's been on this call, and there's some, been some great questions here, um, that email capture, uh, I'm going to start doing it for my business. And... Um, you know, I've always thought about what's what's the best way to capture an email and to do an email campaign because I really think, Ken, and you'll agree with this, uh, I'm sure that you know it's an underutilized um, uh, tool to be able to get in touch with people that that uh, have shown some interest in your site um, as a follow up without being spam because they chose right. to put their email in. So by choosing to put their email in. And I'm sure that I didn't look carefully, but I'm sure there's an unsubscribe button as well. And if somebody unsubscribes, um, does it automatically, does constant contact automatically take them out of your prospects list? 
they'll take them out and but you'll see that you'll see the one the people that have unsubscribed also. yeah yeah, yeah. So I suggest everybody, if you, um, if like Ken has done in, in accumulating uh, customers, because customers mean sales and sales cures everything, um, then uh, I strongly urge you to take a look at one of these systems. Constant, constant, constant contact is is one of them. Uh, Ken also said that this could happen through Mailchimp as well as mm -hmm. one of them, and I know that Paul Vandeven. Uh, is uh, on my team who I think uses a different program as well. But I think the premise of this training tonight is to show that, you know, by capturing emails and following up with emails is a great way to accumulate customers, which then leads into conversations, perhaps that could uh, take somebody up the staircase, walking them up the staircase to get them to uh, look at this as a business or have the opportunity to uh, share the brand champion program where they could make a little bit of money or uh, talk to them about joining us in our mission and linking arms and doing this as a business part-time or full-time. And uh, I think Ken has uh, seen some successes with that, especially uh, since, you know, he has reached uh, the level of the director and managing director, I'm sure is not uh, that far away for Ken as well. So yeah. I'm really, uh, I'm really grateful. I want to be respectful of Ken's time. I want to be respectful of everybody's time. This is normally uh, a half hour call, um, but this call is recorded. And um, uh, I urge everyone to go back and look at this recording again, if you have questions um, and give it a try. I think you said, Ken, 60 days is free. And then it goes to $12, around $12 a month. It's either 30 or 60, and then it goes to 12. I yeah. can't remember exactly what the, the first time frame is. Yeah. But a great tool to use, and uh, it doesn't take very many customers to pay your annual rate uh, for this. And, and certainly, you know, if uh, I can say that if, if we were all even 10% successful, as Ken was in accumulating customers in the over the 700 range, that even 70 new customers would more than cover the cost of constant contact um, when it when it comes to leveraging this and writing it off as a business tool. So um, thank you, Ken, so much. Thank you for your thank patience. You. Um, thank you for taking the questions. We could probably do questions all night long, um, but I think that uh, uh, tonight's enough, and um, we'll um, we'll just move on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unmute everybody um, and everybody can say good night. And once again, on behalf of the field and behalf of the team, Ken, thank you so much for your training tonight. We, uh, we really appreciate it. And um, everybody yeah. can unmute and say good night. Thank you, well, Ken. Thanks, Terry. Thank thanks, thanks, Ken. Right. Thank thanks you. guys. You guys have a good evening. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Ken. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you.